Hi, I'm Scott Engel, Managing Director of RotoExperts.com. As usual, I am the king and I am fantasy. And we're going to talk some New England Patriots today. With Aaron Hernandez seemingly out forever and surely for this year with what happened, everybody's assuming that Jake Ballard is going to step forward and be the guy to take his place in the New England offense, but not so fast. Last year, the Patriots used a lot of three wide receiver sets when Aaron Hernandez was out. So who are the real names to remember this year for the New England Patriots that might step forward as sleepers? I'll tell you now. If there's one guy already established in the Patriots offense who can step forward and Tom Brady already has a level of trust with, it's Julian Edelman. If the Patriots do continue to go to these three wide receiver sets, Edelman is a guy who's going to help move the sticks. And he might be a little bit squirrely after the catch and make some, thing hap some things happen. So it's all about his foot. Can Julian Edelman stay on the field? If he does, he might be a big fantasy surprise in 2013. Everybody's thinking maybe Aaron Dobson should be a guy on this list, but veterans are really the ones who could possibly make an impact with Tom Brady here. And one that comes over from a divisional rival, Donald Jones, he is a guy to watch too, especially if Julian Edelman can't stay healthy here. Donald Jones is a big target with good hands. There's a reason why the Patriots picked him up. New England always knows what they're doing. Donald Jones has a good chance to step in and fill a hole in the New England passing game this year. You may laugh at this name because, you know, it didn't do much in Tennessee. But heck, ask Ron Jaworski what he thinks about Jake Locker and how bad he's looked over the past year plus. Lavelle Hawkins is going to a team with a good quarterback. Any one of these guys that I'm mentioning in this video today, they all have the potential to step up. They're going to be battling through training camp, through the preseason. Lavelle Hawkins showed some flashes of promise in Tennessee, even though they were brief. He's kind of nifty, he's kind of quick, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Tom Brady find an on-field rapport with him at some point. All right, now I'm stretching it. Okay, Michael Jenkins played with Matt Ryan. He didn't do a lot. He played in Minnesota. Not a good quarterback in situation, but this is a veteran receiver. And Tom Brady has shown us in the past that he can take veteran receivers and he can do something with him. Heck, he did it with Javar Gaffney. If Michael Jenkins is ever going to do anything in his life, it could be with the New England Patriots. I'm not betting on it, but stranger things may happen. You want to get real nifty and dig real deep? Well, that's what the king does. How about Zach Sudfeld, an undrafted free agent who has a good possibility to make the team right now? This guy is 6'7", a physical target, and he's a big dude, and he looked good at the combine. Good measurables. He's not as quick as Aaron Hernandez, but look, big target, kind of fixing to that Patriots two tight end offense. This is a name you can't forget and you have to watch during the preseason. And my quick hit on Jake Ballard, no better than a tight end too. Opportunity doesn't always lead to excellent production. And look soon for the exclusive edge fantasy football package on rotoexperts.com launching in mid-July.